sponsored by Volunteers of America Southeast. And Faith Time is our weekly discussion on matters of faith. And joining us this morning is Betty Stone with Dauphin Way United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining us this morning, ma'am. It's a pleasure to be here. We Thanks. wanted we wanted to talk about the Dill Lecture Series. First, a little background. What is that? Well, we started the Dill Lecture Series five years ago as a tribute and honor to Dr. Steve Dill and his wife, Ruth, who have served Dauphin Way for many, many years, as well as the community at large. And every year we try to bring in a speaker who can inspire and intellectual, intellectually and spiritually help our community as well as our church. All right, coming up in about two weeks, you've got a big guest coming up, Mr. Yes. Jim Wallace. Tell us a little bit about him and what he's expected to talk about. Well, as I just told you, Jim Wallace has been on our list for a couple of years now. He is a preacher, a theologian, a leader, and a social justice activist. He is the founder and president of a group called Sojourners, which is very much involved in faith-based social justice movements. He is also a teacher. He has taught at Harvard Divinity School. He has taught at Georgetown, and he lectures and writes for major use newspapers. So this will be on September 23rd Third. and 24th, yes. series of free events. <clears throat> yes. Uh, what is the what is uh, it that you want the community to get out of these events? We feel like it is very important, especially in today's climate, for us to all be able to have open and respectful dialogue. And Mr. Wallace has many ideas that will stimulate conversation, hopefully allow us all to evaluate our own talents and our own faith journey and how we live our faith, not just talk our faith. So why do you feel this series itself is important? I think specifically this year, given the world in which we live, if we can listen respectfully to each other and on the Monday morning topic, we will have its um, faith in action and he will be having a dialogue with city leaders Mayor Stimson will participate and respond. Merceria Ludgood, who is the city council, not uh, city, Louisville county, county commissioner. commissioner, yes. Uh, Bill Sisson, who is president of the Chamber of Commerce, and Reverend Michael Pierce, who is the director of development of MLK Redevelopment. And so what do you hope people will learn if they attend some of these events uh, in a couple of weeks? Well, we really hope that people will come together, listen respectfully, maybe reevaluate themselves, as we all will be doing. Um, Jim Wallace really lives his faith. He lives in minority neighborhoods in D.C. He and his wife have two sons. They have started neighborhood development centers, schools, tutorials. There's a lot that we can do better, and I think listening to him will really inspire us all. And you're reading uh, his current uh, book yes. now. If you hold it up there, you can see on, yes. the, on the cover there, it is a picture of, of the bridge, uh, the Edmund Pettus Bridge. And yes. I believe that was the uh, big anniversary the a couple 50, of years ago. Yes, yes. America's Original Sin, um, which speaks really to we, as even at the founding of our country, European Americans. Um, we came with quite a sense of uh, entitlement. Mm -hmm. We took the land, blah, blah. Anyway, he talks about problems in our country and ways that we can all work together to bring ourselves to a better place. Some challenging topics that they'll be addressing in a couple of weeks at yes. Dauphin Way United Methodist Church. Thank you for joining us, Betty Stone, for this edition of Faith Time and News 5 this morning. We'll continue after the break.